welcome back to Tech Garage, brought to you by rockauto.com. Now, one of my favorite segments, Garage Ed. We know the basics now, voltage, amperage, and resistance. Let's talk about some circuits, fuses, and protection devices. Now, I went to rockauto.com and got all these protection devices right here so we can take a look at them. You could have a fuse, you can have a circuit breaker, or you can even have an older car. They have parts for that as well. These are the old glass type fuses right here. Now, fuses, they come in shapes and sizes as well. You can see actually the mini fuses right here, the regular fuses, and then the maxi fuses. Now, I'm gonna look at the circuits and we're gonna go through each one of the circuits. The first one I wanna look at, well, that's a series circuit. Series circuit, think about that inexpensive Christmas lights on your tree, you know, where one of the bulbs are out and then you're there for four or five hours trying to figure out which one it is. Why is that? Well, there's one path of flow. If I pull this light bulb right there, the whole circuit goes dead. That's a series circuit. Now, our protection for the series circuit is an actual fuse. It's located right here. And I wanna talk about some bad circuits, some shorts. Now, you can look at this first graphic, and this one's called short to power. I like to think of that as like copper to copper, maybe wire to wire. That graphic shows it where opponents can do some funky things. Maybe they come on, maybe they don't. Maybe you turn the radio on and the wipers work. Now, this other graphic, this is short to ground. That's a dead short. Now, that graphic, we're gonna do that on our board, and what that's gonna do it's going to cause the amps to run so fast that it's going to create heat and it's going to blow that fuse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this big wire because I want to be a lot stronger than that actual fuse. And if you keep your eye right here on this fuse, I'm going to hit this. And when I hit it, three, two, one, instantaneously, that thing popped. Now we have a maxi fuse right here. You can see that was 40 amps. That took a little heat, but that joker there, it burnt in half. Now you never want to do that also with this. You want to use a fuse jumper wire. If you're going to make any jumps, I went ahead and I built this fuse jumper wire using a little mini fuse, so you're protected. I'm actually faulting these circuits. Now I come over to the next one here. This is a parallel circuit. This is pretty cool, because if I hook this up, I think about that good set of Christmas lights. Maybe spend the extra buck. What happens when you pull a light out, the other one burns. Why? Two paths for current flow. They're equal. So they each drop 12 volts down each branch and they each burn. Now I got a circuit breaker here. This is really cool because I can come to the circuit and I can go right across it and I can short it out. Now this is a resettable device. So watch this. When you hit it, the lights go out. And then we're waiting. It's closing. Once it closes, bam, the lights come back on. Last circuit is actually a parallel circuit, series parallel. Pretty cool because we have a switch in series here, which I can dial up and down and change the brightness of the lights. And then we have the parallel portion right there. Same as the parallel. I pull one light bulb out, the other one stays lit. The only thing different, we have a switch in series. Now this one, we have a fusible link. That's four wire gauges smaller than the wire it's protected. Remember, wire gauges, the higher the number, the smaller the wire. So this one here, I'm actually gonna go across the circuit right about here grab this. I'm going to hang on to it. I'm going to short this and watch this guy here should burn. Whew, and there it goes. Well, I'll tell you what, that worked really, really well. I'm going to head over and check out some of the circuit devices that Tom has on rockauto.com and give the smoke a chance to clear.